Hi, my name is Tim and I'm a web developer and I'm trying to understand uh, why um, Shellshock is a big deal and to be honest I'm a little bit skeptical as to why it's um, a big deal. So to show what I mean I will show you a couple of commands. Um, so I tried this one of course and this is a vulnerable machine that I have here as a VM. Uh, if I try that, okay, it echoes vulnerable. Okay, that's one thing you could do. Um, I guess another thing you could do is you could say, "Who am I?" Uh, and that outputs the username that I'm currently logged in as. So it doesn't actually elevate any privileges. You just run the process runs as the user you're logged in as or in case of a web server if you're running a web server with PHP and so on and you run a script um, it w with this vulnerability you will execute uh, the command uh, which is inside a string but that is also the thing that I don't understand why it would be such a big issue so let's simplify this a bit so I do x equals that. So then uh, it doesn't find uh, the command because it doesn't have uh, the environment for it. So okay I can still circumvent that and give it the full path of who am I. And it still works and that means it's vulnerable. However, uh, it means that I have to execute this whole command. So I've never actually used uh, this bash C and so on. So I don't know how would someone inject that into the code without putting uh, the, the terminating uh, character of the string there. So I'm just going to take it out because that's that's usually what you would have, right? But then nothing happens. So the, the Shellshock vulnerability doesn't happen. To show this further, I'm going to show you a, f a file that doesn't exist. Uh, let's say it, it's vul and temp. It doesn't exist. So I do that uh, and I... Hang on. And I do that. And echo well into temp well and that should if it worked it should put uh, the string into that file so if I if I show you that file temp well it is not there so it's not created it does it doesn't actually execute the command so to me it seems like you have to have this bash c command in your command somehow. Um, this is also the case when you look at uh, the latest exploit, this one here. So maybe I'm just lacking imagination or something, but so, so that means I'm vulnerable, yeah, but that's just an echo command. But if I, again, take this away, which is usually not there, if you execute the command, uh, then it still doesn't work. So I'm still puzzled as to why it's such a big issue. And the other reason for this video is that the bigger issue, I think, is actually command injection. So what you can do is, you know, let's say someone Let's simplify this a bit. I'll just do x equals um, some string, right? So uh, some string might be something you get from the application, uh, and I guess you can you have power to forge that uh, to anything you like as a as an attacker. Uh, so you could make this, you know, something like that. I don't know, echo. Uh, and it wouldn't do anything, right? Uh, that's common knowledge. But what you could do, instead of 
um, putting that in, you actually terminate the string here. Uh, here. Uh, semicolon. Uh, well, that's a semicolon there. And then you just put another semicolon and um, you terminate the string again. So all you did, you injected this into the command and it actually executes it. Um, I could do another echo there. Uh, it executes it as if it was run from the shell. So you could do uh, user bin UMI. You could do that as well. Uh, so actually, I think the bigger issue is this kind of thing, uh, which even if you fix Shellshock, it would still um, have that issue. Uh, so you need to sanitize your input if you're working with web applications. Uh, and you need to, well, with Shellshock, you need to be sure that you don't enter any of these strings, which is horrible. But even without, you should sanitize your input, and I, I reckon you should, you should, um, you should actually have a regular expression that only allows certain characters. Um, so, for example, if it's a string, you only allow word characters, and you only allow uh, spaces and tabs and so on. So, I think, and and also you should. Um, you should not execute any commands if you don't absolutely have to. Usually you can use a library or, or something like that. And, and that's actually common knowledge since quite a while that you, you should not execute commands if you don't have to. And if you do, then you really have to sanitize your input. Okay, I, I hope this, this um, clarifies the bigger issue that I think uh, got apparent through shell shock that we have command injections. Uh, there's another topic of injections, which is which is um, SQL injections, which is actually an even bigger issue than this, I think, or at least the same. Okay, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you learned something, and I learned I definitely learned something. So maybe see you later.